Hey everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 as we rejoin Connor to continue his quest and find answers. So it's been a while since I've done any more of this campaign. It's with Christmas coming around, New Year and all. We didn't die from the apocalypse by the way. I think that needs a yay. Yay, well... It was an apocalypse. Apocalypse never seemed to happen when on schedule. It'll probably happen sometime midway through this year, I don't know. Who really cares nowadays? There's been so many apocalypses. Apocalypses. Well, wow, that's a word you'd never thought you'd hear. But, um. Yeah, it's never gonna happen, but most likely in our lifetime at least. Well, if it did. If we did we wouldn't really bother, would we? Because we would be dead, of course. That's a vital part of an apocalypse. Right, I'm going left. And as you can see, ignoring all that, well, I hope you've all had a great holiday, Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year's, so on, so on. And that's about it, really. We joined Paul Revere, as you can see. That's the only thing which has actually happened through this campaign. I didn't want to just start off with not knowing what I was doing. I wanted some clue, because I had completely forgotten this game. I had no idea what the controls were. But don't worry, I haven't done any more missions. This is the mission directly after whatever the last one was. I'm being honest, I can't even remember that. And I have a grudge now on this game, and it is Scottish people. I d Why are Scottish people so tough in this game? It's just... Ugh, Scottish people. Why? Don't get me wrong, I like Scottish people, but just not in Assassin's Creed. It's... They're not the most friendliest of people. I've pretty, I'm pretty sure as well that I've had this hatred of Scottish people throughout this game before. Well, if I have, I can't remember. But that was a pretty sweet assassination. And that's about it for that one. So let's take Paul Revere, really. Does he really need a cutscene? Well, it wasn't really a cut. It could just be loading. Just to get him on the horse. Right. So we're currently taking Paul Revere around the frontier by the looks of it to gather men. For s I believe for some bizarre reason. Well, the British are coming. I guess that's good enough reason. And whatever he said, I guess that's what we're doing. Well, usually if there's an invasion, you don't just tell one person there's an invasion. Right? It's like, oh, okay, invasion, right. I'll go to the pub tomorrow and tell everybody. Because you'd most likely all be dead by then. Keep going. So as you can see, we're on a very important mission, I think, to warn people of the British. The only thing I don't really understand is, if all I'm doing is r riding a horse, can't Paul Revere do this on his own? I'm pretty sure he's capable of riding. You don't need some guy you've never met to do it for you. Well, have we met Paul Revere before? Well, on a now I think about it, yeah, we have. But still, it's a little irregular. Just for him to sit on the back and really do bugger all. And here we go, here's the Scottish people I've been talking about. Why? It's a bit irregular as well to having an axe this time period. And you can't even block most of their attacks. Which is and then you just get slapped. And then that happens. <sighs> this game's going to drive me insane one day. 
<laughs> Come on, let's go back to medieval times. I if prefer the Templars. I will get my Templars? Templars? I mean, when I say Templars, I actually mean yes, the exactly Templars, the Knights see. and all that. From the early Assassin's Creed. Well, now I think about it, only Assassin's Creed yes, 1. Exactly Which was a shame. I wish they continued yes, with Altair. It, he was... It, it was an interesting game, I do have to admit, with the medieval time period also being one of my favourites out of the entire history calendar, historical calendar. Go left up here. Yes, this is it. This is the Don't say. Careful, Connor. There might be other scouts around. Pointing out the obvious, Paul Revere. Pointing out the obvious. I believe we are on course. Well, I don't think we are on course, Paul. Pauline. Shall we call Paul Revere Pauline from now on? Hmm. I think it's going to have to be done. So Pauline, where are we off to now? Makes him seem less heroic and a bit crap, but it's an easy name to remember than Revere. Yes, Pauline, I believe we do. Also, won't it be Spread the word. The a bit regular for two men riding on the same horse back in this time period with all... I guess if it's needed, it's, why not? But it would look a bit odd. Yeah, I'm going to say it looks a little odd. With gay being the modern term of gay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, but just odd. Very odd. Not here, Connor. Well, I'm not going to go across the bridge when there's a British patrol there, am I? Or is it one guy? Nope, it's not one guy. Oh dear. Scottish people. I'd never f thought that I would be hiding from Scottish people in a wood. It's not something I thought I would ever do. No. Wrong place. Oh, okay, Paul. I was turning around. Be safer if we approach the houses on foot. I love how it's saying find the correct militia house. Well, I forgot the wrong militia house. Would that be a detriment to my mission? Right Warning place. people who need to be warned of what's about to happen. So are we just going to leave everyone else to die? These guys are just going to be armed. Whilst everyone else is just like, what? What happened? And then they're just shot in the face. Oh, oh dear. That did look a little... Well, I'd be bullshitting you really if I didn't tell you this, but I actually got up to this point earlier. And then I stopped recording because it was a terrible terrible unfortunate event occurred with the smoke alarm going off which seems to keep happening throughout recordings well every time I do a recording there seems to be a smoke alarm somewhere in my house just go off even though there's no smoke whatsoever no smoke whatsoever it's bizarre really I guess I'm going to have to look into that with smoke alarms and all but not unrelevant, irrelevant for this kind of situation. Smoke alarms, Paul Revere, Pauline. <sighs> so much going on. I don't think I can bear to cope with what's about to happen. <laughs> the invasion of the British. The British are coming, the British are coming. Go left up here. Well, I don't think Paul Revere actually said it like that, but... Are we actually going to do a bonus objective as well? Is it possible? This is it. You have got the right place. We we did it. Did we? They're not answering. Oh no, they're not answering the door. 
Have a British have a British arrived already? Sure, sure, I'm sure. Oh. Prescott? Evening, gents. Um, yeah. Hi. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once. Um, yeah. Okay. Right. That was a bit new. So, is that it? Or no, Hancock's house. So this mission's mission. This mission has been quite interesting. We've been made a bit by Paul Revere and we've seen Hancock trouserless. Hmm. No sign of dog. I hope he's all No, he's probably dead. Hmm, I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, are we reading some oh, campfires? Singing some campfire songs. Reading campfire songs. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little... Could you not have a bit more enthusiasm in your voice, Connor? The British are coming. Come on. Don't be a killjoy. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? I'm going to Greg's, I think. We'll continue on to Connor. Bit hungry, Connor, you know. It's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold Gonna get some pastries. Give us time to spread the word. Say hi to the British. And then probably go to Canada. Because that's what you would do, really. So, we actually completed a bonus objective for once. I think congratulations are in order. Who's got the champagne? Anybody? Oh, the army. Well, really? Is that it? We're facing a British army with, let's say, 20 to 30 men. Good job, Paul. Great work. <laughs> 